shit. Is our best bet for taking down a gunship. Yeah, pay attention, alien. I'll be right with you. Now, where yes. I? You were talking to the G-man and the J-dude. We can steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses and prevent it from shooting down your rocket. This will only anger it at first, but if you can survive long enough to make several direct hits, you'll be rewarded with a prize worthy of any mantelpiece. Now, who's going to be the lucky one to carry it into combat? Yeah, who will it be? Who? What? You're talking to me? You must be mistaken. I've seen um, the Vortigon putting his hand, hand up. The third one, that's why it's always up. Yeah, of course you have to put up, pick up the fucking rocket launcher. Who else is gonna do it? Who else is gonna take away the gun you could have been having, right? You could have. Um, yeah. If you paid attention, the gunfire was already happening, and this dude was busy explaining it one more time to us, in case you, as a character, as developing the personality of Gordon Freeman by your playstyle, decide to actually stay and listen, and let the people outside die, while uh, the air raid sirens are horning, I don't know, ringing, making noise. Now, again, also we've got this situation where the dude at the radio is trying to um, call up the other end. We came from here, now we're here. And he's not succeeding because that would be, you know, and that would take away from the gameplay. Also, this dude is calling um, Odessa Cabbage. His name is Odessa. Why? I don't know. He's British. Why? I don't know. He looks like um, Captain... Captain... Uh, Captain Price. Why? I don't know, especially since he came first. He's got his medals or whatever the tags are for military on a coat that's security, which was uh, pointed out by, at least by Goose Goose in the video that I watched so long ago and I reference now often. And yeah, go fight the gunship. Also medics in case you need those. You know, healing is good. At least, well, not dying is good, healing is might be if beneficial no, not as directly you know yeah yeah no yeah yeah no you catch my drift so yes other than that here's a rocket launcher if you shoot it with rockets it will do nothing other than anger the enemy but maybe eventually you win the colonel cabbage said and yes you can guide the rocket around with the laser pointer which is sort of weird because you know Usually, well, maybe you don't know actually, usually the technology is that you mark the target, that you mark the target with the, ah oh shit, I'm being hit now, you mark the target with the point, which is visible by uh, a ship or something that is actually providing the fire support, you're just marking the target, so you put the laser pointer at the enemy, oh, he blew up the, the thing and I need ammo. Uh, so I guess the am ammo wasn't there. You could give me an med pack. Yes, just like so. Yes, exactly. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, you point the laser at the thing, and then the gunner in the in the thing that's providing the fire support is gonna see what the target is and it will shoot it. So again, we're having music. Sorry. It got it already got despawned, so I guess my mantelpiece prize is fucking gone. Anyway, I also can't talk about the carcasses or carcass. Um, so just just take my word for it, or just rewind and I don't know, rewind and pause and rewind back. I don't know, figure it out. <laughs> Make a screenshot, you fuck. Um, gotcha. Ah, oh, jeez. So um, end lines. Yes. Also, every everything in English is called a fish if it swims, pretty much. So not only are they mixing names of other animals with the fish, everything in water is fish, like crayfish. 
Um, so no wonder if there is a thing that digs in the sand, they call it antlion, because they're lack, because they lack creativity. The bastards. Other than that, they're not that similar, because they're more like ants rather than spiders. Actually, the antlions here in the Half Life Two. But the biggest problems with calling them antlions is that still we actually have actual antlions, not literal antlions. Actual antlions. So, you know, usually, usually, the flora and fauna on Earth has lat Latin names. So, so there's that. If you want to be specific, you can use the Latin name of an animal or or a plant or anything alive, really, to denote the specific thing. But when you're going about and talking about antlions. Someone might wonder, do you mean the alien antlions or do you mean the terrestrial, terrestrial antlions? Now you wouldn't know. Like, like I said, if you call it a, a camel spider or crayfish, it's a unique combination. There isn't a combination here, or at least it's not unique. Because like, it's one word, so it's not a combination. But the one word is made up of two words, right? Right. Now, since that's settled, uh, let's talk to Odessa Cabbage. That's that. That's that, exactly. Antlions. That yes. Unlike yours, what have you done, on. Colonel? I understand that Dr. Vance is in great need. Use extreme caution when approaching the bridge. Radio silence from that outpost leads me to believe it has come under combined control. Still, you're clearly the right man for the job. You'll make it through if anyone can. Farewell. And please tell Dr. Vance that Colonel Cabbage regrets not having been able to rescue him in person. You haven't been able to put up a fight during this boss, boss fight. A boss fight at all, really. So he says Lighthouse Point, right? New little old ass at Lighthouse Point. Is there reason for delay? Well, you were. You started talking to me. Right, uh, loud heist, loud light. There we go, lighthouse point. What a tongue twister, really. Anyway, um, so the finishing at touches. Leon tells us so many new things that we don't know how to deal with. Instead of, well, you could, you know, you could teach or, uh, or, or I don't know, do things by show, not tell, which is probably good. But then also uh, another seagull. Bitch, you're not running away this. Oh shit. Well, it survived the explosion of a fucking explo explosive barrel. Does it deserve the credit? No, it does not. It crapped itself so m Look, imagine how much shit can one seagull hold. If you're wondering, you should watch that video where uh, a dude feeds uh, laxatives? Laxatives, I think. The word is the medicine that makes you shit. Uh, it promotes bowel movement. The medicine that promotes bowel movement. Uh, fed that to seagulls and they shot all over the place. It was shitty rain. What's that video? It's so funny. It's probably maybe playing already on the screen because you know, <laughs> half of half of the reason my, my channel existed, I put references to what I talk to talk about. Oh, he's still talking. Sure. Just put in the same code the whole resistance is using. It's like, you know, you know the whole conundrum with passwords. You, every every password should be unique, so it's harder to crack everything if someone cracked only one thing of yours. Um, but then again, try remembering all of this. If um, Combine cracks one password, one password of uh, resistance, of the resistance, they'll they'll have their whole network done. Everything is closed with like one five three, I think. Ever which way? Right then. So Leon really had us with lots of new things, not explaining anything, really expecting us to know all about it before we really, really, I mean really, faced any of it. Other than that, the gunship. The gunship deal is. Um, is that it, of course, is also a, I would say transhuman, but they're not human, and what would be the, the movement otherwise? Augmented? 
improved. Shit. I was hoping that that box is gonna break apart and it be easy, the content would be easy to pick up. Oh yeah. Also I was hoping the contents would be worth picking up. Fortunately they were this time. This time. Um, but yes, uh, gunships are just giant fucking bugs, which is evident by by their um, what is it propeller at the back, at the ass end of the bug. It's bug-like. It's not that it's bug, because you know taxonomy and whatever. Um, yeah, it has a propeller. It it does. Uh, it's good wings. By default, when it's born, it's good wings. But those wings are turned into what a helicopter has, a propeller. Propeller. How are those tiny little wings capable of uh, uh, providing flight to, uh, to a creature this large is beyond me. Um, how are they strong enough to uh, not break after being turned into a propeller, neither, neither am I privy to this knowledge. And um, how did they make it so? Well, you know, just a regular engine, I guess. But um, sticking an engine like a rotor and sticking the animal's wings onto it to turn it into a proper propeller. Weird operation. And of course, other than that, the animal seems to have a head, but it also has an eye, has, has an eyes, yes, has eyes, and the eyes are to, on the side of its body, weirdly, like thorax, I'd say, I'd use that analogy, analogous um, body part. You know, remember from biology, was analogous uh, organs? Well, that's not the way I want it, but it's fine, that's not the weapon I wanted. But since I'm already out with it and taking fire, I can afford taking some fire. Really, the damage isn't that big. It's supposed to be close combat, but can affect it something. Like, it, sh it should feel nice to fight, and if you die with one shot, it's not. So, you're supposed to tank some hits to be able to. So, I guess it's fine. It's fine enough again. Uh, pick any gun you want. This one just happened. You know, it's. Again, well, maybe not again, maybe first time around. You've got such a variety of guns, and they're always lacking in some aspect that it's hard to really choose your favorite. They're all they are they are all viable enough and not favorable favorable enough. So no, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Pick any, really, Just whatever. Pick pulse rifle. There we go, because it's big and tough. Right, <laughs> there's some ammo here for two for me. So the gunship is a bug, and at where we, you think the head is, is its gun. And of course, where does it store the energy? I don't know. Where does it store ammo if it's not an energy weapon? I don't know. But it's able to use it and shoot you. So there's that. And also, it's still capable of making noises and shouting. So, uh, if you notice when we're shooting it with rockets, it was moaning or crying. Maybe it was just angry, like uh, Cabbage said. Also, his name is Cabbage. Laugh at him. Uh, yeah. Do I wanna? Nah, it's fine. We'll trigger that later on, and I'll show you how I defeat enemies. Because there is a thing here to do, which is weird, and I just decided to be killing two birds with one. Uh, you'll see. So, did I talk about everything I wanted to talk? The things Leon said. The ant lions. The piracy. The shitting seagulls, the gunship, Odessa cabbage. Right, there's something I didn't talk about, and it's already this late. Fortunately, you're very interested, so you're uh, clearly staying around and sticking about to see. Maybe I'll just do the puzzle in the meantime. Um, yes. So how do we do it? Operating the crane is also weird. It's hardly there's hardly any indicators you can go on. Anyway, if you're wondering how am I operating it, you can see the prompts and um, the shadow of the magnet is what you're using to get your fucking little car there. There. Maybe get the car. 
Are we having music? Yes, we are having music. Not only is the noise of the crane absolutely obliterating any semblance of it, there's also me talking. And it's not that dramatic of a scene. And it's gonna be swinging because it. <laughs> Because that's where I fucking parked. Maybe they should have made it a disabled spot so there would be at least some sort of deterrent for me to not do it. Anyway, so we need to move our car over. Also, this happens sometimes. And there we go. This is the bridge we need to move. It moved the wrong way. And I was hoping it would be. it would jump off. Um, the bridge is broken. That's not good. Well, I missed. Fortunately, an easier target to pick up is an entire shipping container. And maybe I'll manage to fix the bridge later on too. There we go. There's one. There's two. Perfect. Not three. Not that perfect. Right. What were you talking about? What was I talking about? No. Shit. Um. Hold on. It's fine. Yes, I know now. Um, so remember when we came out of the mines? Pretty fucking weird the whole situation with Ravenholm and shit. Because what happens is um, you go to Ravenholm and it's some mining town apparently, right? Consisting of the living area, the cemetery and the mines. And what are the mines? What were the mines? The mines were some sort of fucking shaft dug out in a goddamn floor of some sort of building. Where were you to the mines last time? I can tell you... Well, I'm pretty sure that's not how mines... Ah, there we go. Oh, did I break it again? Yes. Yes, I broke the bridge again. I've been... Well... I'm pretty sure I know how mines look like and I'm pretty sure that's not how the mines... how mines look like. The mines are not a building where there is a floor with a shaft dug in, in it that you just, I don't know, parachute down to? That's not that. And also, when it comes to mines, where they, they've got... However many entrances and exits they have, they don't have an exit for um, <laughs> infantry, for miners, on foot. Oh, it broke in a different way now. Mm, oh, dude, man. Dude, man. This game, physics, man. Yes, worth it. Alright, that'll be it. Got the bridge across. Because, you know, the idea is you might be trying to move the bridge over and then make room for your car to go through if you're not thinking three dimensionally. But then again, you can also just, you know, move the car over all the way there, there and uh, bump the bridge with the car. So that saves you time, which I'm wasting. Which I'm wasting. Yes. So the mines. You go through some, some fucking place. How do I exit this way? You go through some shaft dug in the floor of a building. Through the short, like hole in the hole in, in the rocks, and then there is a cart that leads straight out to train tracks. It's not even like a train station where there is loading and unloading of the coal or whatever you're mining, of the ore or whatever you're mining, right? Um, into the train so the, the cargo train can take it from there and deliver wherever it's needed it's just to the train tracks that it's so small with, without any facilities to move the ore over to the cargo uh, cars it's ridiculous it looks legit if you don't think about it other than that it's ridiculous. Go back to that episode and watch it and see for yourself that it's ridiculous. Subscribe. Subscribe because you need more. And so do I.